Hey, Devontae, primetime game coming up on Thursday night. It's been a couple of years since you've played in primetime. Are you excited about that? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Like you said, yeah, it's been a while, and I'm just ready to get back in there, like under the lights, and you know, be, be able to go out there and perform with my teammates. Adam? Uh, Devontae, what went into your decision to, to play yesterday? Obviously, you got a little, a little banged up uh, the week before. At what point in the week did you know you were good to go? First day of practice. I didn't miss no more games. Joe? Hey, Devontae, I can't imagine what it must be like to play a game on a Sunday and then turn around and play right again on a Thursday, both mentally and physically, but especially physically. What are some of the things that you will do each day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, to make sure that you're at peak physical condition? with the game so close together? You know, we need a recovery, you know, sleep, rest, whatever you need to do to take care of your body to be ready for that. Adam? How much have you kind of helped give some guidance to Preston uh, during his, you know, his young career? Obviously he had, he had catch he'd like to have back yesterday, um, coming back off an injury. You, you've had that experience as well. What, what kind of advice have you given him? I you know, just tell them, you know, do what you can. Try to fight through the fight through the pain if you can, but you don't want to do too much. Joe, Devonte, what what would you say are some of the things that are, that are on the line Thursday in terms of how important a game this particular game is? I said we just need to get a get a W. That's it. That's the biggest thing. You know, get our first win of the season. Hi, Solomon. What was the feedback you got from Coach Marshall about how you played in week two compared to week one? Um, he said I played very well. He said I played good. Uh, you know, after coming off a game, everybody got small things to get better at uh, so you can be great in the next game. So um, th those small little things, I'm trying to work hard on that and just get film in and get ready for Jacksonville. Omar? Solomon, I know you guys are just trying to establish an identity right now, but what do you want and envision this offensive line to look like and play like? Um, me, from any offense I ever played for, we always been fa fast and physical. Fast and physical, smart, um, the leaders on the team, and we just, the offensive line, I want us to carry the team in. However, however far we go, if I want you to be because the offensive line, because we're good, how much we collaborate, how much we love each other, so... I want the offensive line to be going around the whole team the atmosphere and our energy. Travis? Hey, Solomon, I know you're excited to go back to Duval on Thursday night. Uh, how much more exciting is it that it's in prime time? Uh, it's crazy. Like, I, I remember watching TV and, like, just seeing Thursday night games, watching Jacksonville, and they playing, and, like, now it's a dream come true that I'm able to go even go back to that uh, to that stadium. And now I'm playing on Thursday night football. It's just, I'm excited, I'm ready to go. Joe. Hey Solomon, I'm not sure if you've ever played two games in five days before, but what have you heard? What have you heard from maybe the coaches or the strength coaches or the your veteran teammates about what you need to do to, to be best prepared for that? It's a quick turnaround, so you got to do, got to change up your schedule a little bit more and push like some stuff to the side and do things that you would did, did you would did later on in the week. Got to push it forward because you know, like you said, it's two games in uh, less than five days and five days. So uh, you got to just prepare even harder, look at them even more, get more treatment, uh, stand, stay in the training room, come in early, do do those small things because, like you said, we it's uh, two games in five days. How? Hey, Solomon, uh, I'm sure that you um, have a lot of improvement that you want to make over the course of the season. You're, you're just a rookie starting out. But at the same time, what is it like for you mentally knowing that you stepped in your first year, you're starting already two games for the Dolphins? Is that something you expected all along? Or how much are you appreciating where you are as a starter already? Um, I'm humble as ever, and I'm glad. I'm grateful for the opportunity. My thing is, I'm not going to say this is what I was planning on. Uh, I'm not going to say this is what I imagine. I mean, I'm not going to say that like I was going to come in and just start a position. I know how hard I work, 
I know I got something to prove. So my play and what I've been doing off season and coming from Georgia, and I just got plugged in the right space. And like I said, I'm blessed for the opportunity, and I'm going to keep working and uh, get better, to, like you said, throughout the season. Omar, Omar. As a unit, when you guys went over the film, I know you allowed three sacks this week, but how much growth or development did you see in terms of chemistry from, from week one to week two? Uh, we, we're, right, we're right there to winning a lot of games, being a, lot, a good offensive line and a good uh, NFL team. It's just like that one little thing, that one second, that one play, not just on the offensive line for the whole organization to be a very good NFL team. So we're trying to scribe on, scribe on that little thing, those little things, and hopefully we can uh, get over that little hump Thursday. Stop it. Hey, Solomon, you guys were able to get Jordan Howard into the end zone um, on the next drive after um, losing the football on downs there. But did you want to get an opportunity, maybe you or, or the O-line, did you guys want to have another opportunity to try to run that ball in on, on that possession where you guys were at the one and could have punched it in? Oh, yeah, no doubt. That's 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 that drive momentum. It, it gives the other team, like, okay, they get down the goal line. These, these offensive line, these big guys, they want to play physical. They want to do nothing but run the ball. That don't only put fear into the defense alignment that you're playing, but it put fear to any other team that you're going to be facing throughout the year. So, you know, that's what we thrive on. That's what we drive on to run the ball into in goal line to make people know and let people know what, we, what we're about and what we're trying to be. Just in general, can you tell us about how you feel things went for you on Sunday? Um, definitely didn't play close to what I know my caliber of play is. So um, just got to get back to the drawing board and learn from that and learn from the mistakes. We just got done watching film, made the correction. So I had to come in to next week or just really this Thursday's game, just a whole lot better. And I know I can play way better than what I put on the field. Omar. Nick, I wanted to ask you, uh, in terms of the nickel, that's not something that we saw during training camp, but then it's also something that we've seen from you in the past, going back to last season. How much work have you done there? And when did you know you were going to get that opportunity this last past week? Um, I've got quite a few reps at nickel. Um, but they told me after just after the Patriots game, that I'm going to be playing at the nickel uh, this past week. So I just had to get ready last week and watch watch more film uh, nickel position. But yeah. Go ahead, Omar. I know you, you're a guy who just wants to play and wants to get on the field, but do you feel like nickel is a position that fits your skill sets? If so, why? Uh, yeah, no, I feel like I'm versatile enough to play outside and inside. Um, I trust in my feet. I feel like that's one of my strengths. So um, just got to come out there with better feet this next game and just trust trust my technique. That's what it's all about. And, and uh, listen to the coaching and trust in the game plan. Adam? Uh, yeah, I have a two-part question if I could. I'm sure that, that film study today was, wasn't pleasant. Uh, what if The first question is, what what did Josh and GA say to you about it? And, and, and the second question is that the defensive holding, I think it was a holding or maybe a legal contact uh, uh, moment. There. Uh, that's what I'm saying, just bad technique. My hands were outside of my frame, so I'm grabbing on the outside of the shoulder pads. Um, just got to keep my hands tight, keep my feet tight so that doesn't happen ever again. And uh, what was your first question again? Uh, just, you know, some of the feedback you got from coaches today. Oh, yeah, just what I told you. We got to just trust in the technique, get back to the drawing board. Um, they know, and I know I can play way better than that. So that's really what was talked about. Travis? Nick, you mentioned the quick turnaround to Jacksonville on Thursday night, your first primetime game in your career. Are you excited for that, playing under the lights no, Thursday night? Yeah, no, I'm definitely excited. Um, definitely ready to get right back out there this week and, Having a Thursday night game is couldn't be more better than that. How? Huh? Oh, sorry. Um, I'm I'm wondering after the New England game, we saw how easily New England ran on your defense, and then yesterday how easily the Bills passed on your defense. So I'm wondering where the confidence level is on the defense as a whole. Do you feel it's uh, shaken at any? Uh, to any point or where is it no it's not shaking um we're right there it come down to little little plays leverage um knowing the personnel and all the little things like that so uh, if we can just execute on that this week we should come out um with a positive uh result all right we'll take one more joe nick obviously a short turnaround but um an important game 
how would you describe the, the sense of urgency, the sort of um, climate, the mood there for the team heading into this game? Um, well, we're not about to freak out or think about anything like that. So Coach Flo even said we're right back to it. Um, it's a long season ahead of us. What not a perfect way to get right back out there on a Thursday so we can get right back to it and get a W.